story this morning of Gurudeva's first meeting with Yogi Swami and I'm going to read it and make some comments as we go on important points. The story begins in 1949 with Gurudeva living in Jaffna at the home of Kandaya Chetiyar. Gurudeva had main known to Kandaya that he wanted to formally become a Hindu and had asked to be taken to a very pure priest, one who has self-realization. Kandaya responded that there are no priests in our temples who have the realization of God of which you speak. Just wait, it will come, the time will come. Kandaya continued to play down the meeting. He would not let his American son, as he called him, go straight away to Yoga Swami, but had him wait for the perfect moment. Finally, one day he announced, it seems that today is a good day for you to meet Yoga Swami. He did not go himself, but sent his son, Panayaka Murti, giving him careful instructions as to how they should go and who should take them. It was May of 1949, an auspicious festive time in Jaffna. Yoga Swami's birth was celebrated in that month. There was also a special Muruga festival during that period. In the South, Pisak, the anniversary of Buddha's illumination, is celebrated, and mangoes, a sacred fruit of Lord Muruga, are cherished by all, were ripening. Oh, my comment is, auspicious day. The more important an event is, the more important it is that you schedule it for an auspicious day. So, Kumbhavi Shekhar of the temple, we got to choose the right day. <laughs> when we're going on a town trip, we don't have to choose the right day. So this is a very important event Gurudeva meeting Yoga Swami for the first time, and definitely I'd say that Kandaya Chetiyar really chose a real high point in that community of the vibration to have Gurudeva meet Yoga Swami. A third man, Kumar Suryan, joined them in Jaffna, and together all three traveled in a cart drawn by two handsome white Brahma bulls. This is before cars, <laughs> were that popular. The cart plotted first to Nalur Kandaswami Temple. Kumar suggested that they get down there and worship before going to see Swami. It was almost six o'clock, he said, and the puja would soon begin. They disembarked, washed mouth, feet and hands, and went inside the temple. In those days, devotees of the temple could worship closer to the sanctum than one can now. The three men stood just outside the sanctum for the ceremony, consumed in the intensity of the darsha. Oh, my comment is not only did they choose an auspicious day, they got blessings from the major deity of the Jaffna area, which is the Murugan at Nalva Temple. So they got double blessings. It was a good day and they got Murugan's blessings at Nalmur. It was about 7 p.m. when they arrived at Yoga Swami's Hermitage. The sun had set and a full moon illumined the landscape. The lamps were lit, which would be oil lamps, and the evening had brought devotees to Swami. The atmosphere was electric, charged with the presence of the Sakguru. 
About 15 people were sitting with him. No sooner had the screeching of the cartwheels stopped than Swami's voice from the hut was heard loud and clear. Come, 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 I am waiting for you. Oh, he doesn't, you know, Swami doesn't even need to know that they're there in the conscious mind, he, he already knows who's, that they're coming. There's a wonderful statement about that in words of our Master. He says that the thoughts of others bounce off of them in a very tangible way. So anyone who's thinking about him or thinking about coming, the thought is going to Yoga Swami and because of his sensitivity, he's aware of who's thinking about him. So he knows, knows who's coming. Then we have a testimony here from Vinayagamurti, first person. As soon as we opened the gate and entered the ashram, Yoga Swami asked Gurudeva in a loud voice, did you see me anywhere? Gurudeva replied, yes, at the Nalur temple. And the following conversation took place. Yoga Swami, you are in me. Gurudeva, you are in me. Yoga Swami, I am in you. Gurudeva, I am in you. Oh, how did Gurudeva see Yoga Swami at Nalur temple, right? Because <laughs> he was physically in his hut. So oh, Yoga Swami projected himself in the inner plains to Nalur Temple and Gurudeva was sensitive enough to be able to see him in his inner body. So that's how he saw Yoga Swami at Nalur. So then back to the idea of I am and you, you are and me. The devotees present were astounded. No one had ever talked in such a way with Yoga Swami since the days of Chalapaguru. Usually, if he said to a devotee, I am in you, the person would respond humbly, yes, Swami. Or he might begin singing a song that Swami had composed. No one ever responded the way Gurudeva had. He spoke as confidently as Swami himself, and he echoed Swami's very words. At that point, Swami eased the intensity of the moment and asked his visitors to enter. Come and sit with Japanese old beggar, he said. Guru Deva knew the protocol and once Swami was seated, moved forward to prostrate. But Swami indicated that he should not and invited him to sit on a nearby map that had been laid down for this unusual visitor. Yoga Swami was in a jolly mood that night smiling and laughing as people came before him. It felt like a special holiday. There were large bunches of grapes on a tray in front of him. He called to a devotee and asked him to take them and make some juice for the three visitors. While awaiting the refreshments, Yoga Swami asked his guest if he had read Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. In fact, he got the book down from his shelf commenting that it was the only book he kept. Gurudeva said yes, he had read it. In fact, it was the only book Gurudeva had really studied during his early training. He had read and practiced it for years. Yoga Swami tossed a few penetrating questions about the Pithi classic. Gurudeva answered quickly and clearly, recounting the experience later that the answers came immediately, not as an intellectual memory, but from within. Oh, we have Yoga Sutras, so it's important to just note that it's the most important book to both Yoga Swami and Gurudeva. Yoga Sutras. So that means it should be. <laughs> For everyone in, interested in Gurudeva's teachings, that Gurudeva took Yoga Sutras as well as Yoga Swami did very seriously. 
Oh, why don't we stop there? We're about halfway through. I can save the other half of the story for next week. I'm going to believe.